All right, New Mexicans, of course, want to know who caused this pain. And now an innocent Espanola man is getting the brunt of their fury for apparently what turned into just an awful misunderstanding and a leaked alert that went viral. Many of you have shared a be on the lookout bulletin with us. It's a, a, got a man's face on it, all of his personal information. That man is Mark Lopez. That bulletin from state police was never supposed to go public, especially because investigators now tell us they determined early on Lopez has nothing to do with this tragedy. Julie Frendak spoke to him earlier tonight. Julie, he walked you through exactly how awful of a mix up like this happened. And now he's just doing his best to clear his name as fast as he can. Yeah, exactly, Tessa. He wants everyone in New Mexico to know he is not responsible for the pursuit yesterday that killed two of our public servants. Lopez is embarrassed and frankly scared since so many people have shared that confidential Bolo bulletin that contained all of that personal information. This you're seeing is video from Lopez's home security system yesterday. You can see a bunch of state police officers approaching. Lopez wasn't even home at that time. When he got there, they had a bunch of questions for him about where his whereabouts yesterday, but never actually explained why they were interviewing him. It wasn't until his wife started getting endless messages about that Bolo bulletin they saw on social media and his alleged involvement in yesterday's crash. I feel very violated and my character, my, you know, my job, find, you know, just everybody in my professional, my, my friends, you know, this is very, very embarrassing disbelief and just lost for lost for thought i mean it's it's i don't know how i don't know how my name got mentioned mark lopez and they triggered toward what sent the arrow towards me um because they had obviously already put me as a subject State police confirmed Lopez has been completely cleared in this case, and that Bolo was only supposed to be for law enforcement, again, not for the public. But the damage was already done. It was leaked, went viral. Some law enforcement agencies even posted it on their social media accounts. They've taken it down in the meantime. I understand that an officer has been lost and everybody's really excited and eager to solve this case but they need to read the flyer that they are sharing because all my personal information and social security, driver's license, date of birth is there. So why was Lopez a target from the get-go? He says investigators told him a witness gave them his name, again, Mark Lopez, but he doesn't know that witness. His employer confirmed to police that he was at work all day yesterday. I wanna feel comfortable going in the public because we live in a very small town and I know a lot of people and you know, people already know what's what's going on and um, you know what what end they choose to believe is is theirs. But hopefully we get some clarity with this. Now he has no idea who or how many could have seen his personal information or what they could do with it. But again, state state police confirmed to us he is not involved. So if you see that bulletin circulating on social media, do not share it. Yeah, and in fact, alert the people who are sharing it to Take it down. Right. This guy's been through the ringer since that went viral. Julie, thanks so much for clearing it up.